What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to this week's all-new character bio. In honor of his upcoming appearance in Logan, where he'll be played by British comedian Stephen Merchant, today we'll explore the origins and abilities of the mutant Caliban. Born with a ghastly and grotesque figure, with pale white skin, a heavy brow, and yellow eyes, his own father gave him his nickname after a character in Shakespeare's The Tempest. That character, the original Caliban, I guess you could say, was written as a monstrous subhuman being, a deformed son of a witch, so it wasn't a compliment. Eventually, he came into contact with Callisto, who invited him to join her, specifically because of his unique mutant ability, the power to sense nearby mutants. Together, they found many mutants, specifically ones that were shunned by the outside world for their abnormal appearances, and organized them into an underground community known as the Morlocks. Simple-minded, often in the original comics, Caliban is portrayed as really just extraordinarily lonely, even among his fellow mutants and still the Morlocks. Some of his earliest appearances actually have him interacting and coming into conflict with the X-Men almost accidentally, as most of the time he was really only just looking for friends. His abilities, though, are pretty unique. As I mentioned earlier, his main power is that he can sense nearby mutants, usually any within a 25-mile radius, which is nothing to sneeze at. And this has made him fairly sought after, first by Callisto, and later even by Apocalypse himself, who even at one point made him his horseman of death, genetically engineering him into a hulking, nearly 7-foot-tall, 300-pound beast. When confronted, specifically when the adrenaline kicks in and that fight-or-flight reflex really gets going, Caliban's strength increases greatly, as well as gaining the ability to essentially siphon the fear of others and project it back into his environment at much higher levels, basically the power to instill panic in others. Due to his time with Apocalypse and the upgrades he received then, he can lift up to 10 tons while also having increased speed and durability as well. Caliban is really an interesting character, though in the movie, I don't think you're going to see any of his apocalypse granted strength or speed. In fact, there probably won't be any fear powers either, as I expect they'll just stick to his mutant sensing ability, as that'll come in pretty handy when he's hiding out with Logan and Professor X. I know there are a lot of you out there that might be genuinely curious about the fact that Merchant is portraying him, given the fact that he did briefly appear in Apocalypse, and it definitely wasn't Stephen Merchant. To that, I have no answer. The confusion is warranted. This actually seems like it might be the best evidence supporting reports about Logan being in a separate universe, but maybe we'll get an official explanation of the film. That's gonna do it for me, though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw and subscribe for more great content every single day. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.